everyone, and welcome to episode two of Friendship Diaries, a series dedicated to all of the amazing friends in my life that usually involves some sort of travel to spend time with them. This time, we are in the Republic of Ireland to visit my friend Maggie. Maggie and I have been friends for over 10 years now, but since she moved to Ireland four years ago, I haven't had the chance to see her quite as frequently. This February break at my university seemed like the perfect opportunity, and so I hopped on a flight along with my partner because he wanted to join to visit her for a week. Today we're headed from Dublin to Galway City. We took the first train out and got to Galway a little after 10 a.m. The main reason we came here was to see the Cliffs of Mower, but as it turns out, the cliffs are actually another hour or so driving from Galway. So instead of trying to do everything in one day, we turned it into a weekend trip. We hired a private driver because of our train and tour timing, but honestly, 10 out of 10 recommend. Instead of just seeing the cliffs, we got to take our time and stop at places along the way. The next day we were off to catch a flight to the Aran Islands. This is probably the smallest airport I've ever been in, and definitely the smallest plane. You could have also taken a ferry, but flying seemed like the most efficient option and it was nice to get a different view coming into the islands. Just as a warning, they do weigh you, no numbers or anything, but they need to balance out the plane correctly.
itself was absolutely beautiful and definitely had small town vibes. Everyone knew everyone and there was a degree of trust that I don't feel exists in cities. When we were checking into our B&B, the owner didn't even ask us for the name of the reservation. He did introduce himself, but he just knew that we were the party of three that was checking in for that day and he brought us directly to our room. And then when we were looking for a bus tour to take us around the island, we kind of just wandered into the middle of town and asked somebody where the bus tours were and hopped on the first one we found. So if you could touch cottage or rent on the island. So Kauru, that's what I call this village. After the year in Ireland, we had about a day until our next trip, and so we decided to spend some time just wandering around Dublin. Currently walking around Phoenix Park, and apparently it's the biggest park in Europe. 
Miraculously, the weather was beautiful. I like to think that it was a reward for the horrible weather the day before. And we made our way down to Parnell Street, which is an ethnic enclave in Dublin. This part is generally, I think, known as the Chinatown of the area. And I wanted to try some more authentic Chinese food in the afternoon, we headed over to the Epic Irish Immigration Museum. I thought that this was really well done. It was very informative and creative in the way that engaged you in the different exhibits. They gave you this passport that you got to stamp as you went through the different rooms. And it was not only a good way to keep track of your progress, but also a fun souvenir at the end. Museum, we headed out for some cocktails and some dinner. This place was super cozy. I found it because it was recommended as one of the best cocktail bars in Dublin. Their drink selection was pretty expansive and it was very creative. I really enjoyed the cocktails that I did have. Even though the spot is clearly known for its drinks, I thought the food was also pretty decent. We ordered a couple of share plates, potatoes bravas again, and I also got the pork belly and some dessert as well. The next morning, it was another early train ride, this time to Belfast. Belfast is actually in Northern Ireland, so it's part of the United Kingdom, but you don't need to pass through any immigration check or anything. When we arrived in Belfast, we weren't able to check into our hotel just yet, but they did keep our bags and we were off to explore for a bit. Black Cab tour was scheduled for around 2 p.m. So in the meantime, we decided to visit the Titanic Museum. Like the Epic Museum, this was really well done too. Very extensive and interactive. That's where you work in Belfast. My dad got me my start. I actually did not know that the Titanic was built and launched from Belfast, and so seeing everything in the actual location made it feel a little bit more real. On the Black Cab tour, we learned more about the Troubles and looked at a lot of the art around the city. I would definitely recommend this tour if you're visiting the city because honestly, as tourists, I would have had no idea what part of the city I was in or the significance of the art that I was looking at. For dinner, we went to a really cute restaurant and to be honest, this was probably the best food I had on the trip. This was our last full day in Ireland, so once we got back to Dublin, we ended up going for some afternoon tea at the Westbury Hotel. This tea is definitely on the pricier side, but you do get unlimited sandwiches and scones, so some would say that's worth it.
after that, we headed to the Jameson Distillery Tour. My partner wanted to do this instead of the Guinness Tour and it ended up being a really cool experience. By this point, I was really done with drinking, but it was still nice to learn how everything was made and to try the different types of Jameson whiskey. We also added on a cast straw experience and got to try some component of the whiskey that comes straight out of the barrel. Apparently this is not the actual product, but a part of the final product and it's like 60% ABV, so 120 <laughs> proof, super strong. And the room itself was very flammable to the point where they asked us to turn the flashes to our cameras off. Finally, we met back up with Maggie and concluded our evening and the trip with a fish and chips redemption. The next morning, we managed to squeeze in a quick brunch before our flight. I had a chorizo dish and my partner had you guessed it, a full Irish breakfast. It's fine. <laughs> As I sit here and edit this vlog, I'm hit with immense gratitude at being able to spend a whole week in the middle of the semester traveling to see my friend. I'm so lucky that I was able to spend a whole week with Maggie. I hope she didn't get sick of me. And I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of our adventures through this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.